Rise and Shine. Well, yes, uh, William Red is what you see, and I'm uh, holding the poster of this William Red. Who this William Red is? We are going to talk about that. This is a children's novel which was written by Ramit Dhirasekara, who happens to be a teacher by profession. And uh, this particular storybook, this novel rather, is uh, something different of what we always get in the bookstores. And our little ones are going to enjoy this because it got not just a story, not uh, just letters and odd stuff that we get from an owl book. We do have more and we're going to talk about this. It's uh, the first of uh, Ramit and Ramit is here with us to talk about his book, William Red. Ramit Dhirasekara, good morning to you. Good morning. Well, yes, uh, we're talking about, uh, I was just showing the post uh -huh. actually. What is this William Red and who William is actually? William is a boy and uh, actually I came up with this concept. Uh, basically, I'm a teacher, like you said, uh -huh. and uh, kids are naughty. So I teach grade six, grade six English and grade six English literature. So where kids are really naughty, they, have, they run all the time, and you know, it's it's like you know very very naughty. Yeah. So sometimes with all these experiences, I have this habit of like which this habit which I got from my principal to say his name, call Mr. Selvadure. At my school, he used to come and tell us stories mm -hmm. when he was teaching us. Right. So I wanted to be like him. So mm -hmm. because of this reason, I was I used to love his stories. He was a he was he's my role model. So he used to come to grade one and tell the kids stories. And from grade one to the grade twelve, everyone would love him. So mm -hmm. I used to go to my classes and tell my kids about my personal stories. Mm -hmm. So this is where it all started. William is a combination of my childhood. At the same time, it's a combination of all these naughty kids. It's so a character, yeah. but the main thing in this character is although he's naughty, like I always as a teacher, I always tell my kids. Naughty is being okay, but mm -hmm. you must not hurt anyone. Yeah. So William is a character that is naughty, naughty redefined, mischief at its best. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, he has certain qualities like mm -hmm. sincerity, honesty. He doesn't want to hurt people, mm -hmm. but he's naughty. So, <coughs> so that's what William is all about. That is what William is all about. Exactly. Yeah. So also tell us now. This is uh, just uh, we are seeing just one book of yours. Uh, are there any <coughs> more books that you have done, or is it the first one? This is my first book. I've done a couple of other books, but I haven't published them. Mm -hmm. So I have a plan to come up with another book in August, mm -hmm. where I'll be launching my second book, William Red, the second, the part two, okay. along with two other books written by two of my students. Mm -hmm. So right. All right, Amit. Now, how, this is your first. So how did you got into the writing of William Red, and how did it all start? Uh, like I told you, it all started with a little story because I used to tell my kids stories when I go to classes. When, mm -hmm. when, when it gets bored, sometimes I sing for them, sometimes I do little magic tricks I find out on YouTube. Right, okay. Sometimes I tell them stories. So this is how it all started. I went and told a class the first story of this William Bed called William and the Three Balls of Ice Coffee. I told them the real story mm -hmm. of something which happened to me when I was young. Was my grandmother used to make uh, this ice coffee. So wait, in, the f in the first story, William is you then? It's not no, uh, <laughs> not the entire thing. I wouldn't say that, but uh, it's something there's something personal in the first story. All oh, right, okay. Of the ice coffee. So I told them the story, and mm -hmm. uh, the story went around like I, this was in the first period. And by the interval, most of them were coming to me and asking me, "Sir, what is this story? Like, why can you please come to our class and tell us this story?" Okay. So in a couple of days' time, I wrote this story down because I have had this habit of writing whenever I feel lonely, whenever I feel bored, whenever I feel like you know. Mm -hmm. I want to go to one of my own corners, I keep writing. So I wrote this thing down, William and the three balls of ice coffee. I typed it out uh -huh. in a free period in our live day at school. Okay. And then I uploaded it on Facebook. Mm. And depending on the comments I got, I made a page. That's how it all started. Nice. And also about the name. Now, William is, uh, now you have, this is actually something that you have written for the Sri Lankan kids mostly, I believe. Uh, <coughs> the William, the name, what reference can we um, you know, come out of that? When it comes I, uh, this, uh, uh, like you said, it is for the Sri Lankan audience, but my main aim was not the Sri Lankan oh, audience. Sorry. I wanted to make something go out of the country. country okay. like, to make this go global. Mm -hmm. To have an next Jeff Kinney or uh, to have a Jeremy Mustilden from our country. Mm -hmm. That is th that was my target, to make this, of course, like, like not just our standards. Okay. When you talk of Sri Lankan standards, in most suspects, our standards are very low. I'm not degrading anything. Yeah. But in most suspects, 
Yes, you know. we understand what you're and saying. And we have red within brackets. What does that mean? It means danger. All right. So William is a dangerous <laughs> kid. There you go. So, yes, so we ha are going to talk about the book launch, launch. Uh, which mm -hmm. took place recently uh, when it comes to William Red. And uh, when was it launched? It was launched a couple of months ago. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And how is the response so far? The response so far is pretty good because at the moment, because of my, because I was busy with teaching and all that, I would not concentrate on a lot of marketing. So at the moment it's quite good, like the books have been sold from areas of Kurunagala, Candy, and I keep getting comments, I keep getting emails, and the Facebook page is going on at the moment. Mm -hmm. So it's quite good at the moment, especially like uh, from <coughs> uh, far away areas as Matara, Gaul, Kurunagala, because throughout our country we have a lot of international schools everywhere. Mm -hmm. So there we have a lot of kids that read in English. Mm -hmm. All right, so another thing I'm noticing about this book is that apart from the written content, you have some stickers included. Exactly. Yeah. So what made you, uh, you know, and this is actually just thinking out of the box because th I think it's the first time I'm seeing uh, a book that has stickers yes. on the, uh, at the uh, end of the Probably uh, the, the first book. Uh, local book. Uh, local mean. book, I believe, yeah. yeah. So that's a great idea. So what made you, like, these techniques, why do you think uh, they're important for a uh, kid's book, you know, something that's... Uh, that's been that been targeted for the kids. <coughs> like I tell you, I always spend time with my kids. That's what I do virtually. So mm. they come and tell me, I'm just, "Look here, I got this book. It's awesome." Like you know, and they tell me the comments. Like you know, this is how it should be and all that. So when I spend time with them, I see some of their books. Like let's say Jeremy No or yeah. Diary of a Wimpy Kid at the moment. Mm. So or Percy Jackson. All these books, they have something unique in them. That's like true. maybe a card or something. Yeah. So I want to have something unique in my book, mm -hmm. which I did not see in Jeremy No Children, which I did not see in. Uh, Diary of Wimpy Kid, which I did not see in Percy Jackson. So this is what I could come up with. And then uh, to say something about the stickers, all these stickers are hand-drawn. These are the stickers of the illustrations done by one of the art directors, one of our own very own teachers called Mr. Saman Nabagahavatta. So all these illustrations are drawn. I mean, he did all of them for me. So I was very grateful to him at the moment mm -hmm. because he did this like, all like, from the cover, if you all can see, from this, the very one, yeah. the cover to uh, Illustrations, yeah. everything yeah, was handled. So handled. have a bookmark. Yeah, with one of my own quotes. So this is kind of the book I would, I would buy if I were a cabin. Mm -hmm. if I, I would still yeah. buy it. <laughs> so anyway, Ramit, just tell us about the the the, op the ceremony that you had for the publishment for the uh, for the opening. Well, how was it like? I, we heard that there was also the William was also present, and there was some music like com it's completely different from the regular the sessions we see in the country. So what made you think out of the box and you know go a bit f further from the regular stuff? I think right. you can see William on the screen. That's William? This, this, is, this is one of my students from, okay. he was in grade 6 at the time. Okay. So he was dressed up as a pirate. A pirate, okay. As a pirate and we never showed any of the books to anyone oh. at the beginning of the, uh, the launch. Okay. So all the books were hidden and then he came up all of a sudden from the balcony. This was in Morotua. <laughs> so he came up all of a sudden from upstairs and he had this map with him as mm -hmm. you can see. And then he went there, opened this thing. Mm -hmm. And That's then, yeah, you know, he's <laughs> very innovative, really awesome. very creative yeah, indeed. Yeah, and the success is when dreams and reality become similar words in your world. That's uh, probably your. Uh, that's my own quote. All right, that's nice, and that's what you follow. Exactly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah, so this is uh, William Red we are talking about, mm -hmm. and uh, well, yeah. wh what sort of now? This is this comes as your first novel, and this is for the kids. And I like basically writing, you told that you write when you're free and when you feel like writing. So do you basically write for kids only or do you go in for some other poems as such or any other material? I love writing blank verse poetry, which is one of my, like I've been writing blank verse poetry for a long time, for let's say about mm -hmm. five, six years. And I've got a whole collection of them, which I wanted to print a couple of, which I wanted to publish a couple of years ago, but I did not do it. Mm -hmm. So sometimes maybe this August, where I write on the themes of love. Mm -hmm. So maybe this August I might publish them, but now because I've got this trademark of a children's author, mm -hmm. I don't know if that's the right thing to do. Mm -hmm. But depending on the comments I get, because I publish them on Facebook, mm -hmm. when I have a free time, you know, because you know, all of us. Right. So that's about the verses, right? Yeah, that's about verses, blank verses. Verse. So wouldn't you be like uh, because we are getting curious questions from everywhere asking whether you'll be writing uh, any other genre of books like some, not not just uh, just verse books like something that is a story maybe it could be like a thriller or a love story something like that will you be starting something like that anytime soon or maybe <coughs> I have, have started you? something like that mm -hmm. at the moment it's titled Good Friends Good Times 
But uh, then again, I don't know whether, like, I, I don't want to come out of this range. I love oh, writing right. for students, for mm. kids, for mm. little kids. So I've started on it and I stopped on it. Like, that thing I started actually before this. But then at the moment, I've stopped on this, I mean, the good friends, good times thing. Mm -hmm. So I don't know if I might continue on that yeah. because I'm working on, let's say, yeah, the second part. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, William Bread part two is yeah. on its way. Yeah, exactly. So mm -hmm. tell us about it and what we're going to have in that. As you told that you have 10 stories here in the first book. And yeah. is it going to be like another 10 uh, on based on <laughs> William and his friends? Yeah. So okay. okay, interesting. That's not a hint. <laughs> 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 right, so tell us about like, now this the book writing is also another, like uh, uh, just one way you're expressing yourself. So are there any other ways you're expressing yourself? Do you follow any, any, any other forms of arts? Do you sing? Do you write, write yeah, music? I do sing. Something like that? Mm -hmm. I sing, I write, I'm a Toastmaster, I do public speaking, mm -hmm. and yeah. That's about that. All right. Mm -hmm. Well, um, Ramit, mm -hmm. now you told that you want uh, William Bridge to reach um, overseas, the other countries, uh, to reach the little ones over there as well. So any inspiration that you have, uh, that you follow, any role models when it comes to um, international writers, such as Enid Blyton or anybody else? I used to read case? a lot as a kid and um, I used to read a lot. Like, I've got a whole lot of books at home. But when it comes to inspirations, I just have one. Like some authors, and that's Roald Dahl. I think he's amazing. Like, if there's someone, I, I don't want to copy anyone or follow anyone or something like that. But if someone has inspired me to be who I am today, one thing, like from an author, mm -hmm. from an author to an author, mm -hmm. this guy is amazing. The, the stuff that he comes up with from the Charlies, from the, the Mr. Willy Wonkas, to all these things from the big friendly giants to James and the giant peach to the enormous crocodiles to you know children start being creative they start imagining things and if children don't imagine things mm -hmm. you know, when, a, when a kid is about five years old the kid believes in you know magic That's right. yeah magic yeah. yeah so this world mm -hmm. is not there when a kid becomes six years seven years eight mm -hmm. years you know goes out That's and right. Roald Dahl is one such character that was able to come up with all these things mm -hmm. and you know make the children believe in magic once again believe in you know Mr. Willy Wonka's believe in Prince Pondicherry's mm -hmm. Believe in all these beautiful things. That's the right. The glass elevators and you know the chocolates and all that. That's right. So, so. now mm -hmm. talking about magic, magic well, yeah, now, exactly. we have we had actually the uh, series Harry Potter, which was a mega That's hit you. when it mm. comes to kids, even the teens and everybody. So that was like taking us to a completely different world. Uh, everything was like based on magic and uh, totally different. Yeah. So now you have here in the William Braid, uh, we find uh, somewhat realistic stories, as you told that uh, the first story is based on something that happened to you when you were a kid. So any plans to get into a different sort of a combination as in a different world, a creative, a magical world with your stories or as such? Yeah, any I plans? do write. It's not about magic. I've never <laughs> touched on magic though. Mm -hmm. but, uh, I've, I've write on other, th other themes like which I, I imagine a lot. The, the, these stories are personal stories. Mm -hmm. like okay. Either it's something connected to me. There's something personal in almost every story. But like you said, I have not tried magic, mm -hmm. but I've tried a lot of other themes. Like I was recently I wrote this particular short story mm -hmm. for a newspaper mm -hmm. uh, called uh, Crappy Crocodile. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Crappy it's about, yeah, it's about a crocodile, and you know, it's, it's for kids. Okay, which is very different. Like you know, th the crocodile is different. Mm -hmm. It's very different to the crocodiles that we see of today. Yeah, this crocodile is a you know. Different one, different, a different one, a vegetarian one. <laughs> vegetarian. <laughs> vegetarian <laughs> crocodile, interesting. <laughs> well, we don't find uh, this kind of like, you know, here in Sri Concepts. Lanka, even, uh, mm. uh, English writers for kids and writing these kind of stories for That's little right. ones. Uh, this is uh, somewhat uh, a very good thing, a very innovative uh, thing that you've done as a teacher indeed. You've, uh, you are a motivation to so many of the teachers as well as the kids out there. And uh, to give you the titles of the 10 stories that we have here in the book, William and the Three Bottles of coffee, William and the fire extinguisher, William and the blood brothers, William and the dare, William and Mr. Fernando, William and the cricket match, William and the haunted house, William and the hospital, William and the pirates, William at the annual concert. So what interested you the most and uh, probably to give a brief idea about what we have in <laughs> this all William and stories? Right, what interested me the most, I would say I enjoyed all the stories. Mm -hmm. I mean, like, as an author and uh, as a reader because I had to go through this like you know once you're done with a book you got to proofread this thing like, over yeah. and over again so I enjoyed all the stories and most of my friends enjoyed all the stories as well, as well but if I was to tell you about a couple of stories which like you know really hit me 
One was this concept called William and the Haunted House. Mm -hmm. where I'm sure you guys also must have known this thing. Where, like, when you're going to school, yeah. you have this thing where you get a piece of paper. If I can take this one. Yes, you can take it. And you divide a piece of paper into four. Okay. Right? Mm -hmm. And then the kids write yes, no, no, and yes on the four squares. Right. And then they have two pencils. Mm -hmm. One horizontally and one vertically on top of each other. Right. And then they keep this on the table mm -hmm. and then all of them they start saying Charlie Charlie are you there okay <laughs> I don't okay. know if you guys know this or not I don't know if you done this or not mm -hmm. so I had try. this chance of where I went to this class and you know I was there in this class and the kids got late to come and all of a sudden a kid came running to the class okay like what happened and he was like Charlie's there Charlie is there, you know we were in the speech and our room and you know we had this piece of paper divided into four right. and uh, we had these two pencils on the paper uh -huh. and you know we started yelling it so we said charlie charlie are you there uh -huh. and sir believe it or not the pencil moved to yes oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> there's a little trick about how we do it right. so <coughs> on this particular story we i base a story we'll call william and the haunted house mm. so that part of the story is true yeah. charlie charlie are you there and at school uh, at our, my school where i study we had this particular place called Haunted House where we used to go to play run and catch, mm -hmm. run and catches. Yeah. So when we used to go there, there was, we thought this was haunted. We used to imagine all kinds of crazy things. <laughs> we used to imagine bloodstains to be there. We used to imagine kidnappers and thieves and robbers and you know, all these things to be yeah. there in the house. Okay. So depending on those two things, uh, we made it William and the Haunted House. Mm -hmm. Right. So also, uh, Ramit, when you look at this uh, book, it's not just about uh, text. There are also illusions uh, around it and also inside it. Uh, who helped you? Uh, there can be people, I believe there are people who have helped you uh, create this book into something that is successful. So who are those people? Yeah, one is Mr. Samanna Bhagavata, mm -hmm. um, who helped me with the drawing. So we used to stay after school. And he's another teacher that, would, that worked with me. So we used to stay after school and uh, we used to, I'm not into drawing, mm -hmm. really bad at drawing. So he used to help me with the drawing. And then I must also mention the names of Mr. Denzil Heratke. Again, there were days when we used to stay after school, yeah. uh, till about six o'clock in the evening at mm -hmm. school, mm -hmm. reading through this, proofreading, Proof reading. which is not easy, by the exactly. way. Mm -hmm. And uh, then I have to also mention the names of Mr. Indika Vijayaratna, one of my very good friends. These were the guys that were with me and my family. And, uh, my relations and most of all, I say, it, I repeat this, most of all, this would not have happened uh -huh. if it was not for my students. Uh -huh. Like all this, this William Red, this person that you see here today, Ramit Dira he, this, this personality was created through my students. Uh -huh. It is through the love and inspiration that they gave me. Uh -huh. They saw me as a role model and I wanted to inspire them and this is how it all happened. But let me just tell you a little story yeah. of where I was on exam duty. There was exams and stuff. Uh -huh. right, so yeah. And one kid had finished his exam paper yeah. and then he was like covering up his file yeah. and he was drawing something. Drawing you know, very something. inquisitive to you know what this was. And then uh, after everything, I, I wanted to find out that this guy wasn't showing what he was doing. And anyway, once he had given the paper, he said, Ramit sir, I got you something. And then he gave it to me. This particular photo I uploaded on Facebook where I said, my superhero. Ramit sir, and I always, there's something I always tell them, I always tell them, like, you know, if you have something, always come to me. Mm -hmm. Never fear Ramit here. That's what I always tell them. Yeah. So with these quotes, never fear Ramit here, yeah. he had said, my superhero, and it was very beautiful. That's and very nice. Oh, that's indeed very it's nice. It's not easy for mm -hmm. a teacher to gain something like that from the students. So here you are, and uh, our little ones who are watching Rise and Shine today probably would love to have a teacher like this who writes, mm -hmm. who sings, and who does everything, and who entertain <laughs> you as well while teaching. So yes, uh, now uh, we shall remind our viewers about your fan page, how, we can, how they can probably uh, get updates, the latest on yeah. what's happening with William Red and also Ramit. Yeah, so you guys can follow me on Instagram, Ramit Dirasekara. At the same time, Facebook page is William Red, and I got my own Facebook fan page called William Red. And uh, is this is uh, the page. Is that so? Yeah, this page. is the page, yeah. Yeah. William Red. So you can subscribe to this page, you can follow the page, you can like the page, and also you can interact with me if you have anything. If you all are interested in writing stories, right? And if you all want to read my upcoming stories, right? so all these things, you all can get in touch with the fan page, Facebook fan page, call, it's called William Red. Okay. And uh, yeah, you all can also win free posters as well. Oh really? On the page, hmm. yeah. But I'm going to do that. <laughs> all right, there you go. <laughs> That's a uh, pretty interesting uh, <laughs> thing. Uh, uh, pretty innovative and exactly. creative uh, mm. when it comes to not just writing a book, not just uh, becoming the author of a book, but also here you had um, 
like you know a combination of everything in one book William read well yes we would love to thank uh, Ramit Deer Sekar for being with us today and we wish you all the best in your future endeavors uh, with uh, William read part two and uh, everything else which is on your way and thank you for joining us mm -hmm. and with that it's time for us to leave you today with uh, the happy song Farrell exactly. Williams mm -hmm. Baron yeah. and me sing bye bye to bye you bye bye to you on this Thursday morning have a good day